what we're going to be doing today is distilling and purifying the chloroform that we made earlier. Then we want to make sure that our water bath is at 80 degrees Celsius. And we just want to keep it at about 80. Water bath is 80 degrees. We can then add the chloroform in. And chloroform's boiling point is about 60 degrees, 65 degrees Celsius or something like that. So we should just be able to use a simple distillation. And it's pretty hot and humid out today. And I don't have that much ice, so I've really insulated everything, my condenser. And this is all. Just trying to help it from losing all this heat to condensation. So we'll watch this, and we should be getting our first few drops over really soon. Come back. Okay, you can see that our chloroform is now bubbling, and let's follow the condensation front up. And here we go, the temperature is just beginning to rise up. And you can see the chloroform coming down into the tube now. So we should be getting our first drops of chloroform right about now. The drip rate is probably faster than we want it to be, but I don't smell anything. I think it's doing a good job of condensing the vapor. Here's a shot of my whole setup. I, uh, I got some pretty nice glassware recently, but unfortunately I do not have any stands, and I thought I would have access to some from my university, but I wasn't able to get any or borrow any for the summer. But that's okay, I made do with a tripod, which actually works really good. It's a lot more customizable than you think with just a tripod and a couple of pipe cleaners. You can set up for almost anything you want. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I have a propane burner that works pretty good. I mean, I haven't had any problems with it. All I've really done is ether and chloroform since I got this, but I haven't had any problems. And I just got a $6 pump from Harbor Freight, 90 gallons an hour, and it, it does a pretty good job. I just put it in a saltwater ice bath, and it it's rated for salt water, which is really nice, so you can make some really cold water. It's only 6 bucks, and, I mean, got that iced. Our chloroform is still coming over pretty quickly. There's absolutely zero vapor, which means that my saltwater bath is doing a fantastic job. And I mean, usually you can see a vapor coming out of here. There's a lot of vapor coming out when I did the ether. I probably lost about half of it inside of the house. And I mean, you can test if there's any leaks by putting your finger over this. And you'll hear a hiss. You'll feel pressure if there's anything leaking and there's no leaks. Or sometimes you'll get a flask pop off. But yeah, it's pretty good. Temperature's hovering at about 59 degrees Celsius. And, yeah, we'll see. I should be collecting about 150 milliliters. So we'll just run for a little bit longer. Hey, okay, there we go. We're all done, and we have about 140 milliliters of pure chloroform. Have a good day, guys.